Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'm from Berlin, Germany, near a nation. Uh, we are right now with uh, 45 people and around about 5 million members. Frederick. <laughs> um, the biggest European um, digital health startup, as far as I know. Uh, we make money from uh, mobile, web, um, offline uh, services in uh, total around about 150,000 to 300,000 per month. And uh, today I will show you what we do exactly, what the company behind, uh, uh, behind NeuroNation exactly is, and uh, how we grow, how we uh, achieved our growth in the past, and uh, how I see, for example, what my recommendations for other digital health startups are to also achieve growth in this field. So let's start. First, um, why brain training? The thing is, our brain declines with age. So our ability to learn information, so to understand information, to process it, and to uh, memorize it, so the ability to learn declines by age. So after 25, 30, we have like a, a degeneration, a decrease in our abilities. Uh, but that's quite interesting that people with high uh, activity, with high cognitive activity uh, regarding their lifestyle or their like working uh, style, they degen degenerate like first, uh, less stage super, like uh, not as fast as you see on this curve. So the idea is, is it possible to somehow artificially give their brain as much activity as possible to make sure that they don't degenerate that fast? So we teamed up with the Free University of Berlin and the Technical University of Dortmund to create a personalized brain training, which is neuronation. How does it work? First, we check what your wishes and your pain points are. Then, based on that, you go through a brain performance test to understand on which current level you, uh, your brain is. So we, in the next step, exactly understand how we can personalize the training to your needs and to your skills at the moment to make sure that you always train on the edge and that you always master your challenges. Because the vision of our company is we believe that every brain can be challenged to greatness. But for that, you always need to work on the edge to master it. So, and the third is gamification. I really liked what you said about, uh, Frederick, um, consumer have, it's, if it's a consumer product, it has to be fun. People will need to engage with it. So this is what we achieve through gamification. What we do there, exactly point uh, one, instant feedback. After every training, you get exactly feedback, am I coming closer to my goals? Am I actually um, developing myself? Did I master my challenges? Second, it has to be engaging, it has to be fun. So after um, every training, you need to have some kind of uh, endorphins uh, and achievements going on. We call it endorphin-centric design. And this is also very important to have like a high retention, which is the rate on um, how often does the user or does the patient come back to use your product. The third point is friends we saw that uh, people, if they have like a community to train with, like for example a football team, are way more likely to do it. I mean, it's uh, very important that you come because the best personal trainer doesn't help you if you don't go to the gym. This is why community is uh, so important for us to make sure that people are coming back. And the fourth thing is education. It's also a little bit related to what you guys do with My Sugar Academy. It's uh, incredibly important and to understand what exactly I'm doing here. So what is uh, the real life value of the training I just did, of the minutes of my lifetime I just spent with this product? So education is our um, basic pillar with everything together. We call it like the neuron nation engagement loop. And uh, this is why we have around now 5 million people. We are available in eight languages and make money in around about 100 countries. Um, yes, we have a couple of achievements from Apple and uh, Google. And uh, just to also understand, we are not developing by ourselves. We need to have like some medical grades, so like a scientific basis. And this is what we achieved through the cooperation with the Free University of Berlin and the uh, Technical University of Dortmund, the Leibniz Institute. Uh, the product was been awarded by the German Ministry of Health. And uh, as mentioned before, is the first brain training app which is reimbursed by health insurance. Yeah, right now we, uh, we are based in Berlin and uh, we are strongly growing uh, into the outside world. Our strongest markets are, um, sure, US is like probably number one, the biggest market in the world. 
Brazil and uh, somehow Russia. Uh, they are buying like hell, maybe because it's a German product or because it's like uh, very hyped right now over in the States. So you see that with digital health products, which are scalable and which are engaging, it's very easy to go outside, to go very fast outside, especially if they're consumer centric. So what uh, we do always is we first go into the consumer markets, create a actually bottom up drive, and then we go into the B2B corporations, and then we go to insurances and uh, hospitals to make our deals there. So people already know Neuronation, and then actually can um, connect to it and engage with it. Yeah, because of the five million data points, we or actually users we had, we have been able to understand and balance the behavior of every user so precisely that uh, we launched a new product, which is um, specially designed for rehabilitation after a stroke. Um, for example, with a digital health, with the customized digital health uh, um, solutions, like our brain training, you could decrease the time you need to rehab a person, actually to achieve the most important KPI, which is return to work after stroke, by around about 20% faster. And uh, this is where we also have like, a quite interesting body of knowledge I could share if you're interested. And this is also with a product with which we are going outside and uh, we, are, we are also looking for partners um, in the States and in the Nordics. So I believe this is like our next revenue stream. Also, we uh, are quite, quite broad in our uh, audience, target audience. So the product is also used in elderly homes, uh, for example, also subsidized by the German government and with private health insurances. How do we do it right now? It's very important, I believe, to make a fast growth for digital health companies that you show the payers or show the partners that they are not risking a lot, which means for us, it's pay for results. Um, how do we do it with, with a couple of uh, health insurances? We provide um, the training to their, to their members, to their, um, for example, patients in the hospitals or to wherever, the insurance company are so interested in this kind of products because they believe that they will save money with it because they can short, shorten the uh, rehabilitation stage, that they push our product into the hospitals, into the clinics. The, um, the patient himself pays for it first, then he gets first traction, first uh, results in the product, in the app or in the web service, and then uh, after he gets like his... Uh, achievements, his diploma, he sends it into the uh, insurance and get like the whole product reimbursed. Which is first a good motivation for the patient to really stay compliant, not only because it's fun, but also because he will get his money back. And uh, second, you really achieve results. So this is also one thing which is reducing the risk on both sides and uh, increasing the speed with uh, which we can scale um, the company and the industry in general. Yes, um, who is behind it? I believe it's not only very important to have like a good medical grade, where we have our two professors on board uh, from the Free University of Berlin and uh, the Dortmund University, but it's also incredibly important to make it as engaging as possible. And what's more engaging than games? I mean, 98% of the whole revenues in the app stores, they are coming from games, because people, way more, uh, people engage with it. So we have as on our board uh, the CEO of uh, the, one of the biggest European game developer and publisher, Era Games, Prusim the Times Games, Pascal Zuta, where we challenge every single step in our product with their like, um, key, key people to make sure that this is engaging, that this is fun, that we can increase compliance and retention. So basically, this is uh, what we can tell about Neuronation. So first, make sure that you um, reduce the risk on both sides, try to go for pay for results. Second, uh, we believe that B2C as a market entry is great because digital health is a hyped uh, topic. So a lot of people like publishers will be able to help you. We usually use like influencer marketing to go into the market, to, to, into the markets, for example, Spiegel in Germany or uh, CNN Huffington Post in the States. Then after that, follow up with uh, classical performance B2C marketing and then go on top with B2B corporations and insurance corporations. 
And actually, um, if you have any further questions, please come to me and then we can discuss anything you have. Thank you very much.